Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skill. Today is our day number 24. The problem is already on the blackboard. It says if the vertices of a square, that's, that's, that's a square, if the vertices of a square are at negative 2, 4, 5, 4, 5, negative 3, then negative 2 and negative 3, the question simply is, what's the area of such a square? Pause the video, take care of it yourself, and once you have the answer, resume it. I'll give you 5 seconds to pause and unpause. Oh, very good. There are a couple of ways you can do that. One way, of course, is to do this problem without actually drawing it, if you feel comfortable with it, if, you, if, you, if you're confident in your ability. Another way, the safe route, would be to just simply draw it and see what it actually looks like before we, before we uh, you know, make a hasty decision. So let's draw it very quickly. So the first one is, let's give them, let's give them names so that uh, it's easier to, for us to talk about them. Let's call them point A, point B, point C, and point D. Where is point A going to be? Negative 2 and 4. Negative 2 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Somewhere here. Where is your point A? 5 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 and 4. So there you go. This is basically all we need. This is basically all we need to figure out the answer because from here, from negative 2 to 5, from here to here, from here to here, is 7. From negative 2 to 5, we have 5 on this side, 2 on this side. It's 7, and since it's a square, since it's a square, the other side is also going to be 7. Had it been, had it said, if the vertices of a rectangle are at such and such and such, we'll have to do the rest of the work, because then we'll have to figure out how long the other side is. In this case, we don't have to. It's a 7 by 7, assuming that we've done the right work. So I will check, I will figure out this other side and make sure that the other side also comes out to be the same answer, 7, so that we know that we did the right work. Let's go to C, 5 and negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and negative 3. 1, 2, 3. There you go, you see? This is also 7 from here to here. From here to here is also 7, because from here to here is 4, and then from here to here is 3. As you can see, it's 7. So it's a 7 by 7. And finally, negative 2 and negative 2, 1, 2, and negative 2 by 3, which is your point D. So it's a 7 by 7 square. The answer is 49. This is your point C, which was 5 and negative 3. Point D, which is negative 2 and negative 3. Now, like I said, we didn't have to actually draw the picture. If you were quick enough to see, okay, let me erase this top part here so that it doesn't become annoying. Let me erase this part here so I can talk about it without getting too crowded. If we can see from here, from negative 2, from negative 2 to 5, it's a difference of 7. Negative 2 to 5, negative 2 to 5, and then negative 2 to negative 2, that tells me that this point and this point lie or the, or the flat line, so that, that those, this point and that point is going to form one, one line, negative 2 and negative 2. You see right here, they, they lie, uh, make form one line. And for to find the distance from, from the other side, just to make sure, uh, this point and this point is not going to do this thing, because they are, they are the same y, y, y coordinate, which is this right here, negative uh, 4 and 4 right here, rather. So, so, so we, if, you want to compare, if you want to compare the length to the other side, you will go 4, and negative 3. 4 and negative 3, that's a difference of 7. So as you can see here, this, is, this gives us 7 from negative 2 to 5, it gives us 7. And from 4 to negative 3 gives us 7, telling us this is 7 by 7 square. Which is exactly what we found. The answer is E. I will see you tomorrow. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, either face to face or over the internet via Skype. For SAT, GRE, GMAT, uh, TOEFL or for Algebra Geometry Calculus, you can go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. Or you can go to keshwaniprev.com and send me an email from there. Alright? Thanks.